Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're going to talk about overlay welding of elbows. Over the years we've built several different configurations, both longitudinal and circumferential. We found that some of the problems with longitudinal welding is distortion in the part and trying to get all the beads to line up. So what we're going to show you today is circumferential welding. Now the issue with circumferential welding is the outside radius and circumference of an elbow is much larger than the inside. And so I'm going to talk about how we accomplish this task using software. So Dave is over here on one of our ARC-5 HV machines. This is our standard hot wire TIG inlay welding machine. What we've done is we created a fixture just for elbows. And since the whole machine can tilt 90 degrees, this allows us to weld the elbows in the flat position. So as we're working around this elbow, you can see that they we're having to oscillate because the outside circumference is much larger than the inside. And so what Nick has done, he's written some software that will calculate the required variation and oscillation. So as we're working around the part, we get full coverage as we move around. We actually slow down the travel speed and we increase oscillation as we get to the outside radius. And then we speed up the travel speed and decrease when we get to the inside. This way you get pie-shaped weld beads inside the bore and they all fit together rather well. This is our standard hot wire welding package. You can see the gas tungsten arc welding torch with the tungsten electrode and then behind it we have the hot wire feeding in. So we're actually preheating the wire with low voltage AC power, probably around 100 amps. And this increases our deposition rate and decreases our dilution. What we're trying to do here is achieve a uh, dissimilar metal overlay. So we want to minimize the amount of steel we pick up into the weld. So particularly if you're trying to work to NACE MRO 175 standards where we're having to meet the standard 625 chemistry in a weld metal, we have to minimize the amount of dilution we're getting. And we do that with two layers. So here we see the finished joint with extremely consistent weld thickness. Here's a section where we have two different welds. This is uh, one is two layer, one is single layer. Then what we did is we used our x-ray fluorescence gun. We're actually gonna take the chemistry. And you can see from the uh, x-ray fluorescence gun, we're down below 5% iron. This means we made uh, standard 625 chemistry and we passed the nice standards on this. So this is the way that we found that works best for welding smaller elbows. There's limitations on radius and diameter because we have to get the torches in from both sides of the part. But it's a great way to overlay clad. We've had success with this product across the world. If you have a welding overlay task for an elbow and you think this might work, we have a system running in our lab just for testing of your parts. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.